It's um sometime. Hi guys. Can you guess the title of my next video? Oh. Ugh. Hurry up. Write your guess in the comment section below. Why are fish eating plastic? Huh? Every year, about 8 million metric tons of plastic waste is dumped into our oceans. Hence, in some parts of the oceans, there is more plastic than planktons and krills, which are a source of food for many fish. Now, according to a research, fish eat plastic because it breaks down into smaller fragments which are similar to the size of planktons. In addition to this, the plastic fragments present in salty seas or oceans release odors similar to that given off by planktons. Hence, fish mistakenly assume the plastic fragments to be planktons and thus eat them. As a result, many of them die. Besides this, some of these fish even reach our table as seafood. If we eat such fish, it can cause severe health problems. Hence, it is very important to recycle plastic and use eco-friendly products ah. like paper bags. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Why do we get sunburn? Cause sun is jealous of my skin. Oh. No. Huh? Sunburn is a term for red and inflamed skin. Hey! It is caused by ultraviolet radiation present in oh. sunlight. Sunlight consists of three types of ultraviolet radiation, UVA, UVB, and UVC. Oh. Does it contain UVC as well? Oh, just listen. <laughs> huh? Our skin is made up of cells. These cells have DNA. When we are in the hot sun for very long, oh. the UVB radiation enters into our skin cells and starts to damage the DNA. Huh? DNA damage can lead to cancer. Thus, to reduce the risk of cancer, the damaged skin cells kill themselves. This programmed cell death is called apoptosis. Apoptosis activates the immune response. As a result, the blood flow increases to that area to heal the skin. This leads to red and inflamed skin, which we call as sunburn. Hmm. Why do we have different skin colors? It is because of a pigment called melanin and ultraviolet radiation of the sun. Confused? Obviously. All right, I'll explain. Millions of years ago, people living near equator received a lot of sunlight and ultraviolet radiation. Now, ultraviolet radiation is actually absorbed by our skin to produce vitamin D. But excess radiation can damage our skin cells. Hence, the skin of these people produce more melanin to block the excess ultraviolet radiation. Thus, over time, these people and their succeeding generations adapted to have a higher level of melanin in their skin, making their skin darker. However, people living away from equator receive less sunlight and less ultraviolet radiation. Hence, in order to absorb sufficient ultraviolet radiation and produce the essential vitamin D, these people and their following generations adapted to have a lower level of melanin, thus making their skin lighter. Mm. Why do huh? we shiver when we feel cold? Because our body is on vibrate mode. <laughs> oh no. Huh? We shiver because our body tries to keep us warm. Huh? Our core body temperature is about 37 oh. degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. A part of our brain called hypothalamus controls and maintains the core body temperature. Will it also maintain my physique? Oh, please listen. Usually huh? during cold months, the temperature is quite low. Hence, if we have not worn any warm clothes, we feel cold. Oh. Our body temperature starts to decrease. This decrease in temperature is instantly detected by our hypothalamus. Thus, it sends signals to our muscles to contract oh. and relax rapidly, making us shiver. This rapid contraction and relaxation of our muscles generates heat. This heat warms our body, thus helping us maintain our core body temperature. <laughs> Topic, earthing. Why do buildings have lightning rods? I know, they are used to dry clothes. <laughs> 
Nah,、huh? they are used for earthing. Earthing means digging the earth, right? No, earthing is the process of transferring charge from a charged object to the earth. It is done with the help of this lightning rod.、Hmm. A lightning rod is a metal rod、hmm. whose lower end is fixed to a copper plate buried <laughs> deep in the earth, while upper end has spikes. But why is it called a lightning rod?、Huh? This is because it protects us from lightning. Lightning is a flow of massive charge. <laughs> It can damage、huh? an entire building and harm the people living in it. Hence, to protect them, the <laughs> lightning rod transfers the massive charge from the lightning to the earth safely. <laughs>